Hi, I'm Seb Henves from Bloomberg New Energy Finance, and I'm here in Paris, COP21, at the Climate Summit for Local Leaders, and I'm joined by Assistant Secretary Evan Ryan from the US uh, State Department, uh, and we're here to talk about a very particular program, the R Climate Sorry, Our Cities, Our Climate program. Exactly. Tell yes. us all about it. So we launched Our Cities, Our Climate this fall in partnership with Bloomberg Philanthropies. And we're very excited and excited to be here in Paris because many of our participants from that exchange are actually joining us here um, at this summit. And the whole intent, uh, after instructions, very, very strict instructions from Secretary Kerry, almost as soon as he arrived at the State Department, he placed a really large focus on climate change and what we could all do to help mitigate climate change. So all of us at the State Department looked at our programs and tried to figure out what the best ways we could address these um, issues. And so we were really fortunate to have a partner in Bloomberg Philanthropies, who, as we know, has a great deal of commitment. Bloomberg as special envoy, um, and their philanthropies in general, has a real special commitment to working on climate change issues. And so together, we decided the best way to work on this was to work with cities. Cities really deal with these issues day in and day out. Mayors, sustainability directors are directly responsible for addressing issues on climate change and trying to find ways to uh, better their citizens' lives and at the same time help the planet. So this is a program designed to share information? Exactly. And for people to learn from each other and yes. people who are responsible for sustainability yes. uh, within cities exactly. to we, share their experience right, and their understanding. Right. So we decided to bring sustainability directors from 19 cities around the world to the U.S. We took them from San Francisco to Boston to Washington. And in each city, they had an opportunity to learn those cities' best practices on climate change. And where do they come from, these, uh, these all, sustainability? Globally, all over the world, right, really right. every region, and um, it was wonderful because then you're not only are we giving them the best practices that we have in the United States, but we're also giving them an opportunity to network with one another and share their own experiences and their own solutions with each other. And it's amazing to hear how they're all then going back. They're trying to implement things that they learned in the U.S., but also they're implementing things that they learned from one another from different corners of the globe. And what do you think the U.S had to teach them in terms of some of the activities, best practices, the initiatives that are going on right. that they would have particularly learnt from. Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, several of them even commented that they, they didn't have a clear understanding of how much the U.S. was actually doing in this space. Uh, we brought them to lead platinum certified buildings, um, talked a lot about um, sustainable um, development, uh, talked about working with stakeholders and pr the private sector and the importance of making sure that city governments are linked to the private sector, real estate development, so that people are actually working together to address these issues and they're not siloed and, as government and separately private sector. Um, so th there was a lot that they were able to learn um, from, from the cities in the United States and from each other. And what about the, the, the final sort of part of that, of that learning matrix, which is the US learning from yes. these people coming in? Were there Absolutely. Any, any particular lessons or, 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 or things that stood out uh, as very valuable for the U.S. in Absolutely. this Absolutely, and, and we've heard this, and we've heard this from our participants, but we've also heard this from the U.S. cities. Um, and I know that, uh, for instance, um, the mayor of Yokohama, after the uh, nuclear uh, you know, accident um, due to the earthquake, she discovered that, sh that it was best to really double down on thermal energy. And that was something that she spoke to participants about, but also the U.S. cities, about what she's learned from investing in thermal energy and how that's helped them um, in Yokohama. And so that was something that she was able to bring and teach others. So there was a lot of sharing of information, and that's what we try to do in general um, it, with the principle of exchange, is realize that there are huge global challenges, climate change being right at the top, and the best way we can address those challenges is if we're able to work together, put all of our minds together. And that was really what was behind our cities, our climate. And finally, um, you know, all this happening at a city level, uh, my, my big question is, can this affect in a meaningful way the very difficult politics and decisions that are having to be made at a national level? For example, you know, if cities are coming together and can agree 
does that bleed into the main negotiations which are happening at a country level or are we still a, you know, a few cycles away from that really uh, having well, an effect? Well, that's another reason why we did decide to do this is we believe the answer is yes, that cities are incredibly influential. Cities always tend to be the, the places that pilot new innovative projects. When you hear of things that are working in this space, whether it be you know, uh, green building and all of that usually starts in cities. And that's, that's where all of this grows. So innovation is really um, you know, where cities are active. And so we knew that if we brought cities together, we would not only be able to learn the best of the best that's out there, but hopefully these mayors are able to go back and talk to their, uh, their governments, their heads of state, and talk about what they've learned and talk about how valuable it was to work together. Evan Ryan, thank you so much. That's been really, really interesting. We'll have to leave it there. Good luck for the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thank you.